Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Elise, and in today's video, we are doing a flashlight corn maze. Continue on Pennsylvania 378 north for nine miles. <laughs> Here, so we might go there as well but our main plan is for the flashlight corn maze but it's not dark yet so we're probably gonna go there later when it starts to get dark so the flashlights actually matter we brought this big one that's like this and then this one that's like this and we also have flashlights on our phone so she's gonna vlog the entire time and take you along with us on our journey <laughs> thanks <laughs> Okay, just so you guys know what corn maze we're going through, I'm just going to show you this real quick. Here's a 28 acre corn maze. It's massive. And we actually had to uh, get a tractor, which is right there, to go all the way up to the beginning of the corn maze to go through this. It's massive and it's in the dark, so we're using our flashlights. Quick interview with my sister. How are we feeling about the 28 acre corn maze? Oh, I think, wait, like, do you, like, are you asking me, like, how long I think it's going to take? Just your general thoughts. Okay, I think it's really big, and I think it's going to take, like, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? At least. Alina, it took us 30 minutes to do that other one that was less than an acre. That one at the other farm Wait, by the house. Wait, did it take us three hours? I think it's going to take us a good amount of time, yeah. It's in the dark, at least. It's going to be cold. It's, that's why it would take us even more time. I think it's going to take us at least an hour. At least, what like, an hour and a half. Panic attack, You're not going to have a panic attack. What do you like about it? It's corn. <laughs> a big lump of dog. It has the juice. It has the juice. <laughs> More beautiful thing. Currently waiting for my dad. He's getting off of work right now, so he's driving to us. We didn't leave from the same location because he's coming straight from work to meet us here. So I think he's about like 15 minutes away. So we're about to go in this court maze. I'm so nervous. Okay, guys, my dad just got here, ready for your interview. How are we feeling about the maze? I feel pretty excited. It looks pretty big. A little starved right now. <laughs> Straight from work, came over here. How do you guys feel? We already did our interviews. Way ahead yeah. of you. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock, right? It is 7.07. 7.07. Minus two. Because it's from 12 and then it starts over. So whatever the number is, you subtract two. Right, so it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> It's literally not me, I swear. We're not gonna be out here until like 10 o'clock. I think we're gonna, well, this place closes at nine. So they're gonna so. do our final search? Are they still even there? Huh? Like at the end when it closes, like, are they gonna do final search or just gonna leave us there? Final search, I guess. Wait, it's it's really so set. dark. Like, it's just occurring to me now that it's so dark. <laughs> Stitch's interview. How are we feeling? There's ate her chicken. There's another dog on here. I'm screaming. So you guys, we're in the corn maze and you actually can't see us. Can I actually borrow the flashlight here? Thank you. I don't want to waste the, the spotlight. Lens. So <laughs> we're all in the maze, but it's so dark in here. So apparently it takes an hour and 30 minutes to get through. So we'll see. <laughs> It's literally so dark my camera can't pick up anything. We found checkpoint number five and we are clicking it off our list. You guys, this is seemingly very difficult. We're always like left and right and it's so hard. And we're still at the very beginning. The first turn we made, we got to a dead end. Okay, so another thing that they told us is that there's like a bridge or something to look at at the end and there's music. There's a DJ booth somewhere, so we're just following the music at this point to figure it out. Not so cute in the dark, right? There's paper lines in there. Well, I should come up either way. Um, technical difficulties. Good heart. There we go. Oh, it's not working. It's not just one. I mean, he's a strong one. Hold on. We found the bridge. 
Okay, so it's super bright, but this is the only way I can do it so you guys can see me. But it's been 30 minutes since we've been in here, and I think we're like at the very, very end section of the map. So now we're gonna try to find our way back to where we came from because the entrance is also the same as the exit. No. Oh my god. Okay, so we got number one. Okay. We got so three and nine. That's if we're right it. No, we got three, five, nine, and did we get twelve? No, someone was looking for twelve. That was it. Three, five, and nine. So if we're here, we need to get up here, around here. Where are we? Over where here. are we again? Right here. At the very bottom. Is that number? Oh, where do we start? Our numbers. We need to start here. We started at C. <laughs> Okay, you guys, super embarrassing, but we had to get help to get out because we got so lost. So now we're. Ow! <laughs> you can't walk we're getting escorted out. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, so essentially we did make it out on our own, but we made it out. We're now on the tractor on our way back to the main part of the farm. Okay, guys, we have gotten some food. I have deep fried Oreos. Elena has a milkshake. And my dad got some sandwich. I don't even know. But we're about to go home. It's down at, I think it's like 8 something. And wait, wait, wait. 8.22. And the farm closes at 9. So we're going to call it a night. I don't know what we're going to do. We might, we might go home and watch a movie. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'll catch y'all later.